So YouTube, you here back with another video. I uh, just killed two squirrels. I'm gonna show y'all how to clean one. I already don't remove the back two feet, but see if I can get a good camera angle set up for y'all. Hold on. Alright, my boy, I have a this. Set this something like something like this. And that's a jar. Something like Alright, so y'all can see the squirrel, I believe. Your discretion is advised. If you don't like nasty squirrels and clean, then I'm sorry, but this ain't the video for you. It's been a while since I made a video, y'all. My camera been down and stuff, but you're gonna cut both of the feet off, shot these squirrels in the head with a 22. Y'all can see right here. So, first thing you wanna do is get all the feet off of them. Got two back feet out, Smith and Weston knife. And basically, just lay them out, get their feet off, move the head out of the way, cut all the feet off. That's the first thing you want to do. Get the head out of the way. And feet ain't too hard to cut off. I usually like to break them before I cut them off, though, to be honest with y'all. My channel been growing a lot. I got 138 subscribers, which is good. So, appreciate all the support. This is basically just, like I said, how to clean a squirrel video. And basically get the most eating meat off of these things is their legs, in my opinion, as I see most people eating. All right, three feet and one more foot. And I'll be back. I'm going to go grab my other knife right quick. Hold on. the knife this knife works good too got it for christmas last year so turn the head to the side have only the feet showing and try to really just cut the feet off like i say that's all we doing right now this video might be long so if you made it this far just be in for a ride or skip around if you want to but you know i know a lot of people don't know how to skin the squirrel they, they might be their first time hunting and not know how to skin them, so it's a good video to show people how to skin squirrels who maybe want to get into squirrel hunting or just don't know how to do it. It's a good teaching video on how to kill a squirrel, not kill, skin. Killing, I'll make a how to squirrel hunt video. Y'all can let me know if y'all want one of them. So now basically, right, you got your squirrel with no feet. I know it looks, you know, sad or weird, but the best what you gotta do. Now you wanna try to, if I can, with my knife sharp enough, try to make a slit in his back. So, if you can separate all this hair. My hand a little dirty, but we got gone this shelf over there, so. I mean, my hands will be, somebody just shot, but my hands will be clean, so don't worry. But, if you got a sharp enough knife, which luckily this one seems to be sharp enough. There go my neighbor. Uh, he ain't even looking this way, but I killed the squirrel literally at his house. He let me squirrel hunt. But I say, as long as you're not sharp enough, just cut a slit in his back, break the skin, really. You don't gotta be a huge slit. Just cut a slit around. Hope y'all can see. I need oh, phone down, phone down, phone down. Let me use my good hand to pick y'all up. Get my phone. Dirty. Oh, my phone. Hold on. Gotta reset the camera. That it is. I'm gonna make sure. I'll get y'all at the best thing possible. Okay. Alright, y'all. This ain't gonna be it. Okay, I know that. I know this is gonna look too good, y'all. Say make a slit in his back, basically. Make a slit in his back with your knife. This is a small squirrel, to be honest with y'all. 
the squirrel not even really on the big side, I guess. But after you got your good slit going, okay, I accidentally punctured this guts. So this is not good, but I mean, that happens. Okay, yep, nope, this is not good. Squirrel guts are hanging out. Okay, I did not mean to puncture his guts, but it'll be okay. So you want to basically just cut the skin all the way around until you at least are right here. Then, really, you can get two fingers in here. Ah, there we go. Yeah, perfect. Get two fingers in. Well, one more. And now, let me see if I can get two fingers in. You got two fingers in, now just pull. You got to pull pretty hard. You got to use some strength. If you all got, if you got strength, use it. So basically, see how I got the squirrel? Two fingers in. Now I'm just going to pull and separate the skin. Yeah. You got to be sort of strong to do this. Okay. Now you see, you got some meat exposed. Now I'm going to have to just really, from now, just cut all that belly hair. And I know some guts hanging out. I'm sorry, but I'm going to pull my sleeves up right quick. <clears throat> now you're going to just basically cut this little underbelly hair. It's a little piece that should be hanging on under the belly. Yeah. You got a sharp knife, you should be able to just do it like that or not. Just stick your knife in and just cut it. So basically you're trying to separate all the skin. Really? Yeah, it don't look the funnest or the cleanest, but this is just how I do it, the easiest way that I can do it. I don't know who is shooting. Freaking 270s or whatever they're shooting over there. But they almost made me not be able to calve the squirrel. When they shot the squirrel, I'm gonna be honest, the squirrel got scared when they shot and turned around. So, you know, thanks for shooting, but it's okay. All right, now you got that skin separated. His upper half skin and his bottom half skin is not connected anymore. So now it's kind of just a pull motion, a pull down the skin. Once you're here, just make sure you got all the skin disconnected and pull. Uh, and unfortunately, his guts came out. Okay, that's not good, but it's okay. Just keep pulling down, y'all. Almost like taking this jacket off. Mm. Okay, this squirrel about to explode. I ain't even gonna lie. The head about to come off, which is kind of... Actually, speaking of that, that's the next. That's the next thing they need to come off the head. So, just keep pulling. Just keep pulling. All right, you see what I'm... I don't know if y'all see what I got. Okay, hold on. Y'all support beam fell down. Uh-oh. Okay, y'all still see now. Like I said, just keep pulling down, y'all. Yes, this looks messy, but like I said, if you hunt, you know that this is what it is, unfortunately. I'm probably not going to be able to harvest the front legs out of the squirrel because they're blown up. So, I'm really, I'm just going to... Uh-oh, knife down. Knife down. Really, I'm just going to cut them right here. To be honest. Uh, I know that don't look fun or, you know, best pleasing to people. So, it's your discretion. Like I said at the beginning of the video, it's advised. But his head is almost off. This is just, this is what hunting is. All right, head is off, unfortunately. So there's a squirrel head so, and the front legs. So now I'm doing, I'm just gonna toss that to the side. Now we kind of left with a squirrel carcass. And I know the guts hanging down. That's, that's my fault for the guts to be out. I should have made a better incision with my knife at first, but you know, I didn't do that. So now we got guts hanging out. Unfortunately, so I'm sorry for that. The guts don't supposed to be out right now, though. For y'all wondering, the guts ain't supposed to be out. I also should have cut the tail off the squirrel before too, but I didn't do that either. So a lot of stuff that I should have did, but I didn't do. And yes, those are all the squirrels' guts. And really, if you ain't too fond of it, you can remove those now. Just cut them at the sack, and then all that. 
or really, because I don't need any of this, I shall cut it right here at the carcass spine. Yeah, this is a messy way of cleaning a squirrel, so I'm letting you know now. Viewer discretion was advised. Make this a little less messy. Here. See, so those are the squirrels' guts, unfortunately. I'm not gonna go into this because this ain't. This is upper rib cage. The lungs go in there. And to be honest, I think this is. I don't know. I'm not gonna. That's the stomach sack. I'm not about to cut that. Small intestine, big intestine. Some people like to get the liver and the heart out of these things, but I don't do that. I just get the meat. So I'm gonna just plop that to the side. I'm gonna pick that up also. Now we left for this back legs. This is what we want. This is a small squirrel, so the meat's not going to be just, you know, perfect. But we'll have some meat. All right. Now, pull the hide down, like I say, pull his jacket off, like I call it. So you see this? This leg right here is going to come out this hide, like that. And if I pull a little bit more, there you go. Yeah, that leg is out that high. And just because it's a little bit of hair and fair left on him, I'm just going to cut it at this bone. Ah, if I can. Let's see if I can. If I can't get it. Ah, I'm going to try to get all this hair and fur off the squirrel. No. I don't even know how long this video is right now. Cause I'm filming off my iPhone, not a camera, but that'll come off. Trust me, we're gonna get that off. It's not gonna be on. Now we gotta do the same thing to the other side. So you see that? That's what we're going for. That little piece of meat. I know it's a little piece of meat, but it's also a little squirrel. If I had more squirrels and a bigger squirrel, which I do got one big one beside me, this was the smallest out of all the squirrels I kept today. Cause there's only two. Let's pull the other leg out. Out of skin, the hide, whatever you wanna call it. Just pull it out. Make sure you pull the other leg out. If you can. And just connect it by the hide. Pull the hide. That's it. So now, you look for the hide. Make it off the tail. And if you don't know hide, is basically the skin of the animal. Now, after you pull out the hide now, just keep pulling. Still some hide connected. I'm doing this off camera because, you know, it's kind of hard to keep everything in frame right now. Now, the only thing that needs to be cut off is the tail. Now, if I would have been cut the tail off, I wouldn't have to deal with all this. But me, of course, didn't cut the tail off. I tried to wait. That's one thing I forgot to do. See, this is, yeah, this is just more hide. The skin, slap the knife over. Alright, let's see something. See if we can cut this tail off easily. It's really kind of the first thing. Tail and feet are kind of some of the first things that you're supposed to cut off with squirrels. But, of course, me, I waited and then cut it off. So, now you got to deal with this at the end. And I might as well clean the second squirrel on camera. But if you don't make it this far and you feel as though that you're not a clean squirrel, then, you know, you can click off. You know, I'm not about to end the video right here. But if you want to see me clean the other squirrel, which is the bigger one, to see how much meat I get off of that one. Feel free to stay. You know, I know people don't watch my videos so long because in YouTube Studio, they say my average time when people watch my videos is 18 seconds, which is okay because I'm still getting views. All right, so now this is the hide. Those are the back legs, the little fat part, and then that's the tail. Throw that over there. We left with it's meat. Nice, not clean yet because I got to spread off, of course. But. We left for meat, which is something that always only matters. Now, I'm going to cut both of these legs off, of course, because I don't need this back part. I just need the legs. So, I'm just going to cut. Go ahead. Al Ganesh, bring me a Ziploc bag at the house. Bring me a Ziploc bag. Yeah. Well, that's my daddy with a head one. No, they're small, but I got so many of these in the freezer, I can make a meal, trust me. Another one. You're really supposed to get the front legs, too, but 
Unfortunately, I wasn't able to harvest the front ones because the 22 blue was showed it out. Cut this as close to the spine as you can. And squirrels don't really have big back straps, but some people like to harvest them too. And I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay, me just hanging on by a thread. And boom, another squirrel leg. So right now, the two pieces of meat I got off of that square, which are very small, but still meat, is them two. Carcass can go. This is like the back spinal part. That's not meat, that's mostly bone. So I can just cut that off right there. All right, now I'm gonna wait for him to bring me a Ziploc bag. So I'm putting me in a... I'm making a YouTube video. I said I'm making a YouTube video. What? I got still washing, so I just need somewhere to put it so it won't be out. And I put all this stuff in the bucket and go dump it across the creek. This squirrel is stiff. This was the first one I killed. Stiff. There you go. Yeah, this is the bigger one. Thing to cut the feet off. Man, this for a big, big, yeah. Man, this one, big, 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 I ain't know that squirrel that small when I shot it. This one bigger, so I'm gonna get way more meat from it. This thing I do is cut the feet off. You see how big that squirrel leg is? The other one was just a small squirrel. You gotta cut the feet off and stuff. No, that ain't meat, that's hot. That's skin. That ain't meat. I mean, that's his guts. I can't get nothing off of it. It's just bone, bone and guts. So the first thing I want to do is cut the feet off. All four feet, you can get them off. It's kind of hard to clean. I was going to just keep that one, but I'm glad I stayed and kept this one. Because if I ain't keep that other one, I would have just only had a little bit of meat right there. You be having squares at your house? Mm-hmm. You your daddy's son, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this ain't mine, this is across the road. Uh, ain't really all that. This one's sharper than mine, really. Tail, unless you get the tail off. Eat that over there. Like I say, this squirrel is way bigger. You can notice this is a big girl. Not a big boy, because this is a girl squirrel. And I want to try something right quick. I got some hedge clippers. And these old ones. Okay, phone's down. Hold on, phone's down. Yeah, I got some big hedge clippers. I'm gonna try to cut the feet off with these instead. Let me see something. See if this will work. If this will work, this will be so helpful. Let's see something. Okay, that was a waste of time. That didn't work. Back to cutting. Yeah, I gotta hear everyone get in the house and take a shower. Cause it's cold out here, y'all. Oh. 
Uh oh, phone down. I'm sorry, y'all fail. It's gonna be a minute. There we go. This video is becoming the video already 20 minutes long. Y'all can do this for I say. Y'all are some great supporters. Be honest, if I was somebody who was squirrel filming the squirrel, clean the video, I probably wouldn't have made it 20 minutes in. Cause I'm just like, dude, I'll go watch somebody else's video. But y'all actually stayed, so you know, I appreciate it. Also kind of close to the squirrel film. Zoom out some. I forgot I can zoom out a good bit. Okay. I wish I could have known I could have did that. Well, now y'all can see me working, really. But anyway, let's go. So, finish cutting the feet off the squirrel like I was doing. Now, the squirrel is dead, y'all. The squirrel didn't suffer or nothing. I mean, if you would have seen me kill it, it would have been twitching. And then that's it because it was a headshot. The squirrel got shot right here. Perfectly headshot. It was on in a branch in a tree. As soon as I shot him, he dropped to the ground, twitched a little bit, or she twitched a little bit, and then that's it. The dead squirrel. So don't you know? Don't think that these squirrels suffered or nothing. They shoot them in the legs and then hit them in the head, and you know, it's clean headshot, one shot, one kill. You know, and that's it. And this is how we get a lot of meat: deer meat, squirrel. There's some coon tracks at the creek, so y'all be ready for some coon tra trapping videos. We'll try to get some coon traps. Some coon tracks at the creek a lot. This season, I didn't do much deer hunting, unfortunately. My bow blew up on me. Well, not blew up, but the string came off the cam. So that's why y'all ain't really seen on my bow videos. My camera. Oh my my camera I don't got an SD card nor a tripod for it so but I did get another action camera for Christmas which I can mount on top of a helmet and y'all know I got that Bayou 220 which is also down and he's a carburetor so that's why I haven't been many videos posted so I know y'all probably been like you know what the uploads that car but you know this everything I have been down really but well, finally I got out here today. Still, I'm gonna kill some squirrels. Me and my buddy across the street, Jaden. Somebody driving fast. Well, we ain't went out here earlier today. Me and him tried to get some, but unfortunately, we just ain't getting nothing together. So, then I said, he went in the house, and you know, I told him, I said, I'm gonna go back over here and go squirrel hunting. So, he said, you know, cool, but he ain't wanna go. He's chilling in the house, so. Really went to put out some corn and I was gonna come back to the house, but I hit a bucket, aka the bucket that's under this. Okay, I didn't know my knee was in the way, my bad, y'all. But this bucket, I was sitting on this bucket and like a little open spot, and then these squirrels just slowly came in. They didn't even come to the corn because the corn was like two yards away from me behind me. If I'm be honest with you, they didn't even come to the corn. They just, um, they was just passing through. And after I killed this one, I was debating on just going home, but then I said, I'm gonna wait. Cause it's cold, so the bugs ain't really out. So I wasn't <sighs> worried about flies getting on. <sighs> it was a freaking gnat on my arm, but I wasn't worried about flies getting on or nothing. Cause like I say it's still kind of cold, so I wasn't worried about it. So I just sat down and waited again. And that squirrel, the first squirrel that y'all just seen me clean, that was the last squirrel I shot. That was the, you know, I shot this one first, the one I'm cleaning now. But that squirrel that y'all see me cleaning now, I mean, the one y'all first seen me clean, he came in and I watched him. I heard something. I don't know what that was. I know I watched this, that squirrel for at least 20 minutes debating because he didn't know if he wanted to come over here where his friend was at, even though he didn't know his friend was dead. Or did he want to um, go back the other way? And then he finally decided that he was going to follow the same path as a friend did, unfortunately, which... That's just my knee in the way. I'm sorry, y'all. But that's just his fault. Now, when you get here, y'all know what to do. Pull. Ah, Jesus, that ain't easy. Okay, you gotta pull some more. Really separate all the skin around, like I'm doing. And really, you can almost like fillet the skin up. That's what I like to call it. Try not to punch your stomach. And this, like I said, this is my friend's knife, so I gotta get this back to him. Uh, my knife, that orange y'all see, that I ain't even really using that much. I ain't using it much because it ain't the um. You see how this knife like locked? Like you see how it's locked? It ain't you know moving. That knife, 
I threw it a tree and it didn't lock no more. So now, it's, um, well, not locking. So it can move real easily and I don't want to cut myself with it. So, so I just asked him to use his and he said he had one. But we might go squirrel hunting tomorrow, though. Tomorrow Sunday. I got school Monday, unfortunately. So we might go tomorrow. We might not. But if we do, I'll try to get some content for y'all. I'm glad I could be able to upload one video. Like I said, this video is going to be pretty long, y'all. So, you know, it might be a 30 minute video. At the end, I'm going to show you all the meat that I got. Cut the skin up. My hands, they decently bloody. My hands aren't even really bloody, y'all, to be honest. Like, this ain't a dirty job. This hand is bloody. This ain't a dirty, dirty job, though, you know? You know, people out there saying it ain't right to hunt. Same people, they eat McDonald's and stuff. And they come from somewhere. You know, sometimes I don't think this stuff be real. Alright, there we go. Now we're out of skin. To prove the square of skin is not separated no more. All the way around. Now, we am back down on the cutting board, basically, and pull. I should be able to harvest this squirrel's front shoulders and legs. Hopefully. Mm. Pull down. Try to get the back legs first. Those are my favorite. I got so much squirrel in the freezer, I can't wait to take it out and eat it. I got to unthaw first, though. Might eat these tonight. Ow. Yeah, leave these squirrel legs big. Yeah. Y'all, work my way down the squirrel. That's all I'm doing right now. Working my way down, pulling down this jacket. That's how I like to call it. Right. I wish I could have got a rabbit. It's also a rabbit season. So those are also on the list of harvesting. Deer season is over. It went out January the 1st. South Carolina. Yeah, okay. Hope y'all can see. Hope. Oh. Think y'all can see right? Yeah. Pull down. All right, hold on. Really, just like I say, keep pulling. Damn. There we go. Now, basically, all right. There we go. Now, take these two parts, bring them in between. Back hide is off. Lay that down. Now. This is what the hide look like under. This is how squirrels stay warm. All this fat, that's fat right there. That's how they stay warm. Then you fold it out, and that's how you get your squirrels. Like, you know, people, they be having them fur coats, of, like bears and stuff. That's how they be made. People take stuff like this, aka fur, and they clean it and get it real clean, and then they put it on clothes. Squirrel skin. That was a fox squirrel or something. I could have mounted it. Yeah. Here's something down there. I could have